following video segment describes pressure deployment and undeployment procedures specific to the CDR2 AC rig. After pulling out of the hole, the coiled tubing connector is bumped up against the stripper and run back in the hole to space out the quick connect and double ball valves for pressure undeploying. Line up the mud pump down the managed pressure line to maintain a constant pressure. Close the deployment pipe rams. Bleed off the pressure above the deployment rams and allow the riser to drain. The pit watcher should confirm when flow to the pits has stopped. Confirm the pressure has bled to zero by checking the pressure gauge on the riser. Break the connection between the upper riser and the lower riser. Raise the injector head to expose the quick connect and double ball valves. Close the double ball valves. Disconnect the BHA. Pull the coiled tubing up to clear the BHA. Move the injector head back away from the hole. Swing the jib arm and tilt the mast back to position the lubricator. Install the no-go ring. Make up the slick line swivel to the BHA. Lower the lubricator and make up to the lower riser. Use the slick line winch and apply tension to the slick line. The tension should equal the weight of the BHA. Fill the lubricator and pressure up to equalize the pressure across the BOP rams. Open the equalizing line to equalize the pressure across the BOP deployment rams. Once the pressure is equalized, open the BOP rams. Pull the BHA into the lubricator with the slick line winch. Close the swab valves counting the turns to make sure they are closed completely. Bleed off the pressure above the swab valves and allow the lubricator to drain. The pit watcher should confirm when flow to the pits has stopped. Confirm that the pressure has bled to zero by checking the pressure gauge on the lubricator. Disconnect the lubricator from the lower riser and disconnect the BHA from the motor. The BHA is pulled into the lubricator. Swing the lubricator out of the way. Move the lubricator with the BHA into position over the well. where the motor and no-go ring have been placed in the lower riser. The BHA is made up to the motor. The lubricator is made up to the lower riser. The well bore pressure is contained below the swab valves. Pump fluids to fill the BOP stack riser and lubricator. Continue pumping and pressure up to equal the well bore pressure. Open the swab valves. Lower the BHA with the slick line winch. Tag the no-go ring with the slick line swivel. 
then pick up to space out the double ball valve sub and quick connect. Close the deployment rams. Bleed off pressure above the deployment rams and allow the lubricator to drain. The pit watcher should confirm when flow to the pits has stopped. Confirm the pressure has bled to zero by checking the gauge on the lubricator. Disconnect the lubricator. Disconnect the slick line swivel. Remove the no-go ring. Swing the empty lubricator out of the way. Slide the injector head over the hole. Run the coil tubing down and make up the quick connect to the BHA. Open the double ball valves. Lower the injector head and make up the upper riser to the lower riser. Fill the BOP stack and riser. Continue pumping and pressure up above the deployment rams to equal the wellbore pressure. Open the equalizing line to equalize pressure across the BOP deployment rams. Open the deployment rams. The BHA is ready to be run in the hole.